Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you'll learn two methods to resize multiple images at once in Microsoft Word. Method 1. In a blank page or a new Word document, go to the Insert tab, click on Shapes, and then select New Drawing Canvas. Keeping the Drawing Canvas still selected, go to the Insert tab and click on the Pictures icon. Then, select all the images you want. You can use different ways to select multiple files. To select a range of files, just click on the first file, hold down Shift, and then click on the last file. To select individual files, click on each file while holding the control key. Lastly, you can also use the mouse to drag a selection box around the files you want. Once you've selected all the files, click the insert button. Now, you'll notice that all the images are inserted on the drawing canvas and are selected. While still keeping the images selected, go to the format tab, click position, and then choose more layout options. Next. Click the Size tab, uncheck Lock Aspect Ratio, and click OK. Finally, on the same Format tab, you can set your preferred width and height for all the images at once. For example, enter 1 in both the Width and Height boxes and press Enter. This way, you can set both the width and height for all the images at once. Note, this method may stretch out the images if they are not of the same size. If you're concerned about that, you should not uncheck Lock Aspect Ratio. In that case, you can only set one aspect, either the width or the height of the image. Here are some additional things to note. When you insert images on the drawing canvas, the text wrapping is automatically set to, in front of text, by default. This allows you to move the images freely without having to change the text wrapping options. Secondly, you can select all the images at once by pressing Ctrl plus A. Next, if you want to bring these images out of the drawing canvas, Select all the images by pressing Ctrl plus A, then press Ctrl plus X to cut. Next, scroll down, move the mouse, and make a single click a little away from and outside the drawing canvas. Then, press Ctrl plus V to paste. Now, you can delete the drawing canvas by clicking on it and pressing the delete key. Finally, you can manually arrange the images. You can use the align and distribute options to give them a more even look. Method 2. In a blank page or a new Word document, go to the Insert tab, click on Table, and then click on One by One Table. This would create a single cell table. With the cursor still inside the table, go to the Layout tab and set the table's width to your preferred measurement. Let's say 1.5 inch. Note, the width you set here will become the width of all the images you want to resize at once. Next, click on Auto Fit and then select Fixed Column Width. Now, with the cursor still inside the table, go to the Insert tab and click on Pictures. Then, select all the images that you want and click on the Insert button. Now, to align the images one next to the other, there's one last simple step. With the table still selected, go to the Layout tab and click Convert to Text. In the dialog box that appears, select Paragraph Marks or Tabs, and then click OK. Now, if you scroll upwards, you'll see that all the images are aligned one next to the other and are selected. To deselect the images, simply move the mouse slightly away from them and click once. Since the images that I selected for this process have the same aspect ratio, they have a very uniform look. Now, let's try this method on images with different measurements or aspect ratios.
Dear viewers, I hope this tutorial gave you a unique and effective way to resize multiple images in Word that you might not have known before. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is there a specific topic you'd like a tutorial on? Feel free to suggest something. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips, like this video if you found it useful, and share it with anyone who needs a hand with image resizing. For more tutorials and tech tips, visit us at hbninfotech.com. Until next time, this is HBN Infotech saying goodbye.